Welcome back guys, this is going to be the fourth episode of uh, the Stardew Valley playthrough. Let's just get straight into it, we're going to do three more days. Go full screen here so you can actually see. And here we go, we're still on spring. these geodes processed today as well. Maybe catch a couple of fish or something like that. Just get this boring part out of the way first. Or I could even set up another crop. I think I do have enough money about now. Enough money and enough space, that's what you need. Not forgetting to bust the cat. And then we'll see what's inside these. Checking again for forageables. Nothing in this section today. on time. Put through open. Let's see if either of these things can be donated. And of course they can because we've got very little in the collection so far. As time goes on, you will find that you've got more stuff in the collection. You'll start getting duplicates of things and at that point you can simply sell them. Right, let's get something to sell as well. It's always worth nipping here onto the beach. The dried starfish. At this point we'll catch a couple of fish. Yeah. 
Just one more. And if Willie's in, I can actually sell them in his shop as well. Save having to wait until the collection box. Can be a bit fiddly sometimes, this. He's in, that's good. That one, however, I do need to sell in the box. Or I can give it to the museum, they also accept dried starfish. As if I'm remembering rightly, I haven't given them one yet. <laughs> the thing you never know what you might find so we'll go back up now and I'll nip into the shop oh and just to let you know about these dustbins if you do that very occasionally something useful will pop out not like that though, that isn't useful. Oh, damn it, it's Wednesday. Never mind, I can go to the Jojo Mart. I sometimes forget about that, I forget which day it is, and then uh, try to use the shop. They're the expensive ones, but they also do bring you quite a lot of money, so it's worth doing that. Mm -hmm. A strong cup of tea, yeah, if you want to be wired up on too much caffeine, maybe? I don't drink that anymore. Right. Let's get these watered. I don't have a great deal of energy left, unfortunately, but should have it enough to just knock down a tree or two. Most likely I'll need that, possibly. to feel exhausted just as I thought I knew I wouldn't have a great deal of um, energy today I'll just store that but what I will do with my time is I'll use this because as I explained previously you don't actually use any energy up while you're using this it's a little bit of a brucey bonus
we all need to be clearing a lot more of this area anyway. this is something that I can do at the moment. I may have to use some of my crops to help with the energy situation at some point because you can't just not clear the land. Hopefully the amount I'd need to use will be minimised. the stone now or sometimes you find things like that they just kind of appear on the farm and what I tend to do with these decorations is just sort of kind of stick them up here that'll do nicely if it looks good and it's now bedtime so time to sleep I know that looks pitiful, but I did sell the other stuff to Willie, didn't I? So it's not too bad, actually. I know where that is. work of money in. I'll just water these four lots of crops first. Then we'll go and do this quest of finding Robin's axe. I'll need that gold for more seeds. to the land actually then I'll have a better idea of how much energy I have remaining in this instance though I may just end up having to buy parsnips do these two patches. Oops. And while we're out and about we may find some more forageables as well so that's always worth bearing in mind. Always keep your eye out for anything that's forageable because that also is something that will boost your money. So whatever you don't need, especially this stage in the game, just put it back into your chest. this
That's a mystery that won't be solved just yet. So, first thing we need to do is get Robin's axe. It looks like there are some forageables on here, which is always a bonus. And here it is. We shall want the money. And while you're at it, pick these. Things like that do appear in the spring. It'll give you a little bit of money, which is always needed. There's nothing else forageable just there. But I will walk this way around. It is the long way, but we have the time. No hat mouse at this point. Continue on up here. Wizard's house just there. And it doesn't look like there were any more forageables here. I was kind of hoping that there would be, but there isn't on this occasion, so never mind. So again, we'll take the shortcut. Not necessarily on the way back, in fact we definitely won't on the way back because we need to nip to the shop. Right guys, I'm uh, back, I'm sorry about that little uh, break. Oh dear, it is very late as well, isn't it? For 5.50, I forgot to pause. Yep, this is something I'm going to have to go and do tomorrow now. Oh dear. At least I have some forageables that I can um, sell at this point. I just had to um, take that phone call. give Robin a lost axe tomorrow. It's giving us a bit of a healthier bank balance though. We might not have to buy parsnips after all. Let's do the watering. Oh, that was the egg festival. Hold on. What time was it? I know. Oh, yes. The, that's tomorrow. Between nine and two. It's a good job I reread that, otherwise I'd have assumed it was today. Actually, because of that interruption, I think I might do that anyway, because today. Oh. 
keep these pouches going. Lost a day, but never mind. I'll let this be a kind of word of warning to you as well if you do have to leave the game for a, a short amount of time. It may be worth making sure that you've paused, otherwise you kind of lose a day of growing time. Or you just lose your time for whatever it is you, you are doing. Because while your land's just there laying fallow like that, it, you're not you're not going to be generating yourself any money. Right, go to see Robin. Take two. Forageables are very easily found round here in springtime. There, there is a, a bonus. Right. And we're just on time. 9am. Not half past five in the afternoon. So, we just give this to Robin. And that gives us a little bit of extra money. There's Demetrius. That's her husband. I'll just see if there's anything forageable around here. Some, yeah, there is. You do sometimes find stuff around here. By the mines. Not always, but it's worth keeping an eye out. I've got plenty of time. So now we're going to go down and we'll go to the shop and we are buying those seeds. See if there's anything else forageable. If there is, I can always sell it to the shop. Another daffodil. Yes. Dirty potatoes. Get these planted. Mm -hmm. Some more daffodils. Oh. It's obviously of a different quality. That's fine, I can come back and get that. Let's do this first. That one's probably a regular one. As you can see, this one here has got a silver star, which means it's slightly higher quality, and therefore it'll sell for slightly more money. Pop these 
Jason? I'll do a little bit of clearing with what little energy I have left. And then we can focus on other stuff like the egg festival tomorrow. now. Go back for it in a bit. We'll save the geode until next time we go to the blacksmiths. Pick up that piece of coal. And then it's bedtime. You will find you'll end up needing lots of coal later in the game. Because you need a lot of ingots. So it's now time to go to sleep. I know it's only three in the afternoon but you're out of energy so... giving you a little bit more. Yep, that's a nice random thing. of course. We have some more random seeds. Only two. Pitiful but we'll use them anyway. I'm not sure actually whether the Jojo Mart will be open because of the festival. If it's not then this is another instance where the land won't be used for that period of time. So don't recall ever seeing Morris at uh, any of these festivals. He's just kind of like the archetypal businessman, if you like. of things. There we go. 
They are quite expensive. They do actually bring you quite a, a lot, though. Piers is, of course, closed. You can't actually get across there, damn it. So I can't buy the seeds today. Bit of a nuisance, but never mind. So this is an Easter egg hunt. The eggs get hidden around the town centre. And then you've just got to go around and see how many you can get. So let's start. You have to get the minimum of, I think, nine in order to get the top spot. Kiddos. I always find it funny when he refers to everybody as kiddos because not everyone here is a kid. In fact, there's quite a few adults that do this in this game, including the player. It's one, two, three, See more eggs there, but I have to get to them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. From the sound of the music, I don't think I've made it. Oh no, and there was one there, I could have... Never mind. I think this means I've come second. Abigail, by chance? Yeah. Yep, so that was the Egg Festival. And it puts you back home at this time, so... Fuss the cat, go to sleep. And then you get a few more crafting recipes. This will say how much money we've got. Not bad. Not bad at all, considering they were only parsnips. And I will complete it a little bit later. I'll do the next video tomorrow or the day after. And since we can hear that it's raining, I believe that will be a mining day because we need to start getting some stuff to upgrade these. We need some copper. So, and I will see you later. And bye-bye for now.